Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and today I'm going to do a Windows hack trick. So this one is a kind of dangerous and kind of scary at the same time. So I'm going to show you guys how to uh, get full administrative rights to your domain or local machine. So let's get to it. I'm running everything in a Windows Server 2012 environment, uh, and I have Hyper-V installed inside my Active Directory. And this machine right now is part of the Active Directory. And it's actually logged in into uh, an account called BJ Tech News HD. Now, I'm going to go to Active Directory, and this is the computer right here. So it matches the desktop, right? And the user that's logged in is this one right here. Now, this user is not an admin account. So I'm going to double click on it. And I'm going to go into, where are you, members. And it's only a domain user, right? So that means if uh, I want to do some damage to my network and I want to, uh, you know, run a command prompt as an admin, if I right click on the start menu and do a command prompt as admin, it's going to say, oh, no, no. And the reason why it's going to say no, no is because I'm not a full administrative into, you know, this account. But there's a way to do this. You can either get a Windows 7 or a Windows 8 or a Windows 8.1 or a Windows 10 DVD. You're going to put it inside your machine and then you're going to boot into your DVD. So I'm going to show you guys. Check this out. So I'm going to hit no on that. I'm going to do media and I'm going to capture the E. Now my E drive, I already have a Windows 7 DVD already inserted. And so what we're going to do is we are going to power down. We are going to actually we're going to restart. Okay, I believe my Hyper-V machine is already set to boot to the DVD. Okay, so press any key to boot from the CD or DVD. And all you're going to do is just sit back, relax, make sure that, you know, no one's around looking around uh, and just let the DVD boot into the, you know, the Windows installation prompt. Okay, so when you get to this point, what you need to do is hold the shift key plus the F. 10 at the same time so shift f10 when this happens you're going to get a nice little command prompt so what we need to do is locate where the windows folder is at now if you do a c colon you're probably saying to yourself okay it's in the c drive because that's normally where the windows installation stuff is at if you do a dir uh, which is to look into the directory there's nothing in there but if you do d colon and drr there goes the windows folder the one that we want now we need to do a cd and we need to do Windows backslash system 32 because this is where all the magic is going to happen. Now, there's this particular EXE file that Windows uses to uh, to authenticate and to log people in. And it's called it's it's uh, SETHC.exe. So what we need to do is copy uh, SETHC.exe period period I'm gonna make a copy of this because you never know you're probably gonna do some damage so what you want to do is make a copy of this file within the Windows folder okay so what you're doing is making a copy drop it inside the Windows folder and let's hit enter awesome right next thing that you need to do is copy uh, CMD and that file awesome and hit enter and hit Y for yes Awesome. So now we're going to exit. And then from here, we're going to reboot the machine. So let's reboot the machine. Let's exit out of this. And once you exit out of this, it's going to reboot the machine. All right. So we're here. So what we're going to do is click here to log in. But don't log in. You want to hit the shift key five times. What's going to happen is going to activate the sticky and you're going to get a command prompt. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. There it goes. So we're going to hit uh, yes, yeah, sure. See, our command prompt popped up, which is awesome. Awesome. See? Awesome. So normally you would see cmd.exe, but you don't. What you see here is s-e-t-h-c. That is what we want. So from here, we're going to run a who am I command. And now you are logged in as a network authority system that has full control to your machine. We're going to do a net user, and the net user basically tells us who's what account is installed into this machine, right? If you want to see what access a particular account has, you want to do is a net user BTNHD and just hit enter. And as you can see, BTNHD has all this access right here, right? It has all this information. So stretch this out a little bit. 
So it has all this information. Now, what we're going to do is, remember, we're hackers. We're trying to get into this machine, and we need full access as an admin, right, to do any damage to the network. So what I would do is net user uh, btnhd hack. Grr. And let's give it a password. Now, this password is my password. No one's able to get in. And I'm going to do a forward slash add. Hit enter. So I just added that account. So let's do a net user. My account is there now. BTNHD hacker. What? But it's limited. I need to give myself full access to a, the local machine. So let's do a net local group administrators BTNHD hacker. And we're going to add. Now I'm a full admin to the local machine. But you're saying to yourself, how are you going to get access within your domain? Now, this is a scary thing. You can actually do COMP. MGMT, which is computer management dot M S C hit enter. Once you run that command, you're going to get a full GUI within your login screen. This is scary, guys. And you're probably saying to yourself, but you don't have access to add BIA Tech News HD, which is an Active Directory account to be added to your machine. Check this out. So let's go into local users. Let's go to groups. Let's go to administrative groups and let's go into add. I'm in my domain. Let's go to BJ Tech News HD. Let's check the name. Let's okay it. Let's apply it. I just gave BJ Tech News HD, which was a limited account within my Active Directory, full access to this machine. Let's press OK. Let's close this. Let's exit out of here. Let's log in into my account and let's see if I could run a command prompt as an admin. All right. So once you're finally logged in, so let's check out if we fully have access to this machine. So let's right click on the start menu and let's run a command prompt. Wait, wait a minute. I'm not getting a dialog box asking for my username and password. Let's hit yes. And there it goes. I'm a full administrator to this machine logged in as an Active Directory account that has domain users as a member. That's crazy. <laughs> That's nuts, right? Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you have any comments or concerns or, you know, just or questions about this, leave them at the bottom at the video, at the comment section. Don't forget by hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as BTNHD. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.